boys, today is the day. Going back to the dyno, everything's ready. This front mount intercooler should keep my intake temps down. I'm hoping to hit the dyno first pull, at least be another like 30 more horsepower above where I was last time. Then start tuning a little bit more from there. Let's hook it up and uh, get on the road. Real quick here at the beginning, since I know most of you guys only watch about 10 minutes of the video, I need suggestions on how to do a giveaway for the side mount intercoolers. I just, I don't know how to go about doing it. The rate down here, everything you'll need, just bolt right up. I'll give you all my couplers that I ordered and that custom pipe that I had cut and all that stuff. Just leave it down in the comments how you guys think I should do it. Like, make a subscriber like number. Like, if I get another like 500 subscribers, do a giveaway and then just enter all the comments from like a video or I don't know. But all right, let's hook up. I gotta get on the road. I'm excited. We're gonna make some power today, boys. Some real power. I'm excited. I forgot to even turn the camera on. Me and Jerry are sitting here talking. I'm like, oh shit. We're about to pull it off. Let's see what it hits, man. I'm gonna say I get another 20 horsepower first pull. What do you say? I'm thinking about that too. Jared's thinking that too. Let me get it off and we'll get it up on the dyno. I'll bring you guys right back. I'm not as nervous as I was last time because I'm pretty confident in the motor. We're not gonna do any tuning, right? We're just gonna do a rip. Yeah, I just wanna see where she's at first hit and then uh, we can pull some data from her again. Oh, and I want to address something just real quick. Everybody's sitting here freaking out about this block and the radiator. I don't have an AC condenser. And my radiator is double the size of a stock radiator. This has more airflow going through it than the stock AC condenser hands down. So if anything, it's still getting better airflow than the stock setup with a stock radiator and an AC condenser. I mean, you guys might be right. It might prove me wrong right now. It might overheat on the dyno, but I doubt it. We're gonna show you. I'm gonna fire up and let her get up to operating temp. Dude, I love the way the cams sound. Two step is gonna sound so sick in this thing. My uh, intake temp sitting here idling at 70. Just idle. 105. Yeah. So we're already down on intake temp by like a lot. Here we go. My God, that blow off that was sick. needs to clean up the fuel map just a little bit and it's not hitting peak boost my heat shield on the back is not on fire so we did good there you guys like my peak torque 1207 thing rips now the tag got messed up so it made 479 pretty much 480 on 18 pounds of boost and it was super rich so he's got to lean it out a little bit and he's got time to duty cycle because i have more service area with the bigger intercooler so we're down five pounds of boost cooling mods work boys the proofs right here in the pudding oh yeah i forgot to mention too for everyone paranoid about the radiator and the car overheating even at full throttle at over 150 miles an hour it was only 190 so we're good we're in the clear all right, here we go, boys. Turning the boost up. We hit boost cut, so he's got to mess with the duty cycle some more. But yeah, he pretty much has to redo the whole boost map because I got so much more surface area. Like I said, when we came in here, we were at like 18 pounds of boost. We're not even going to let it cool down. We're just going to hit it again. Look, I'm touching it. That's crazy. I couldn't even get like within a half inch of it last time. Just sit here and rub it out. That one's hot. I couldn't wrap that one. I think I talked about it. I want to have this stair coated. I think I'm just gonna stair coat all the pipes. This one's hot as shit. But that's a charge pipe now. That's not the end pipe. So this hits the intercooler. It goes this way into the intercooler before it came out of the intercooler into the intake. The car's amazing. It does this back to back every time. Yeah. 
on that back-to-back -back hit intake temp was only 90 compared to 163 dude listen to that blow off valve oh my god Dude, that's crazy. That's literally just cooling mods. Because we're back to the same boost. Yeah, back to the same boost. We have about 20 Yeah. Just cooling mods gave me 40 more horsepower. They're worth it. I don't know how much I've edited out or how many times I've said it. I keep saying it. The cooling mods have proven every pull back to back to back to be worth it. I, I think a lot of it is those spacers, man. Because that top intake plenum, you can touch now. What was my intake temp? 89 degrees. That's almost, that's 80 degrees less than what it was the last time with the two side mounts. Yeah, the torque is still all over the place because the tack signal is not picking up. We've tried every plug. So saying I'm making like peak power at like 2000 RPMs, which I might just stick with. I'll just get a dyno printout and drive around to car meets and show every, I'm just messing with you guys, relax. You gonna do another pool or are we just gonna add 110? We might do one more pool on 93, see if we can actually hit that 500. We're gonna do a 110 map today though, for sure. Okay, boys, we're letting our cool down. This is my call out to Rice Miata, Chris Rudnick. Everyone go blow him up. Tell him to get to work on the 240 that I gave him. I want to see what that puts down. If you guys remember, in my video when he came, he said he would race me in that thing. I want to see the numbers he's putting down. Say, he'd bring it back. We could do a drag race, a track day. And you know what? We'll even come over here and we'll put his car on this dyno and then my car on this dyno and see who makes more power on the same dyno. So there you go, Chris. Where's the 240 at? We're just gonna let this thing cool down and then we're gonna hit it again one more time on pump, do another cool down and throw 110 in it, make a 110 map. I'm hoping we're gonna hit that 500 on 93. Intake temp is 73 degrees. Oil pressure's good. All right, we're doing another cool down. The jag pulled back in. Well, Had a couple wires jiggle here. loose because it's a fucking 10 liter. Man, I've been wanting to see this thing run since he put a picture of it on his Instagram. If you guys don't follow Jared, go follow Jared on Instagram. Higher standard performance. I'll put a link down in the description. I never ask you guys to go follow anybody. I don't even ask you guys to follow my Instagram. Go follow Jared's Instagram for me. I turned the camera off. He brought it here because he drove it to Walgreens and the ground wire came off and the Holly ECU. I can't even talk. That's all I, tried to I can't even talk. <laughs> he brought it here because he drove it to Walgreens and the ground wire jiggled loose and the Holly to be safe was dumping a bunch of fuel and made it rev high and so jared had to come back and reset everything here we go boys 110 going in yeah so i don't know where i've been recording we're pretty much 500 on pump we're at like 497 yeah i think that's what it made today the most yeah all right yeah 497 with the cooling mods same boost same timing same everything and uh she's been hitting that that number plus or minus yeah so we're pretty much at 500 on 93 we really gonna go for 35 the show let us. we're gonna try to hit 35 psi today blow the head right off of it now i got studs that should be good all right then get up the operating temperature burn off some of that 93 that's still on the lines and i'll bring you guys back since he goes ripping on it upped it up six percent on the boost just one degree there's about one degree advance Let's see what we hit Yeah, here, let me 
explain that here i forgot if you guys remember our street tuning video what is that called um, the, igniter. the igniter plug came unplugged and i just put super glue on it and i forgot to replace it well the super glue came loose and that's why the tack wasn't reading we were thinking it was had something to do with this all day and it was that that was like halfway unplugged and then a minute ago i wasn't recording the car wouldn't even start it was just cranking and i came over i seen this plug hanging off so now i got a zip tie on there and read the real torque this time instead of a trillion foot pounds that was real yeah it was uh, that's what i said instead of a trillion uh 570 foot pounds there we and go horsepower basically it started picking back up it again but it cut us out early on the rpm look at this shit see yeah so we're trying to now adjust the it's probably some sort of issue with the tack pickup to the aem yeah so then therefore now what we're doing is just extending the rpm range in the software to see if that was the case okay and it'll tell us i'm going to increase rpm on the aem for the limiter to see if it pulls past this point if it still doesn't then it's possible that it's losing vehicle speed to the AEM, causing it to go off of the two-step rev limiter and stopping it at that 5,100 RPM, 5,200 RPM. Oh, yeah. So that's my real torque reading, everybody, since we fixed that plug. 575. That's crazy. I'm going to try to film over here, even though there's going to be some wind noise, just to capture this blow-off valve. I know it's not coming across on camera. It may be the loudest blow-off valve I've ever heard. Man, I swear if it's not one thing, it's another with this car. It's hitting two-step because my speed sensor, I think, stopped working. The car doesn't know that it's actually driving, and at 5,000 RPMs, two-step kicks in. I always admit when I'm wrong, most of you guys were right. I just, I'm running out of turbo, but the torque is crazy. Yeah, the turbos are running out. I don't know if we're gonna go much over five. We're just running out of turbo. You guys know I'm gonna have to get bigger ones now. It's never ending. Maybe I'll do a giveaway with the fucking turbos now too. Just give you guys a whole free car at the end of this. You guys are already getting the intercoolers. Someone's about to get these turbos. I don't know if you guys heard him. He said go to Bill at 20 T's. I might just go a big single right off the fucking rip. I don't know, man. We're gonna do some more pulls. He's got some more tuning to do. You got any more timing, Dad? All right. And just after this last pull, I know I brought this up multiple times. Intake temps are only at 100 degrees, 63 degrees less. And now we're at 28 PSI and it's hot as shit. All right, boys, we turned the boost up. I don't really think it matters too much at this point for horsepower. I think we're running out of turbo, but at least we'll see some more torque. It is what it is but the torque's going through the roof. All right, boys, we're calling it. Never even hit 500. It is what it is. We're running out of injector. We're definitely running out of turbo. We're at 29. And even at 34, he hit it a couple of times. We're not making any more power, so the, the turbos are maxed out. But we're at 580 foot-pounds of fucking torque. You're going to feel that on the road. Chris, I'm still calling you out. I don't care how much power that 240 makes. You're not going to make that much torque. Coolant tip only hit 189 on that last pull. Hot as balls, running it all day. We never even have seen 200 degrees on the radiator today. I might be giving these turbos away. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to enjoy the car like this for a little bit. I can't make my mind if I want to go 20 T's, if I want to hit it with a 50 shot of nitrous, or if I just go big single. Leave it down in the comments. We're going to uh, take it down the street, see how it feels, make sure uh, drivability is still all good and everything. I'll bring you guys with me. If you already made it this far, don't forget to hit that like button. And the video's not over yet, but we're going to go for a rip down the street. I want to feel that torque. That is a lot of torque. Man, I really wanted to at least be at like 550. I wanted to be at 500 on pump. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Just running out of turbo. We only hit 120 mile an hour on that. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that's right. I'm also running out of the map sensor. My map sensor is only 3.5 bar. If I want to go any higher, I need to do 5 bar. But it's a never-ending thing. If I do that, then I'm going to end up blowing the spark plugs out. I'm going to need a DRL. And then I'm, I'm already out of boost. I'm already out of injector, so I need injectors. I need bigger turbos. I just need a different car. Here's the graph that I'm leaving with for now. But no more to be had on airflow. Just turbos ran out of steam. It is what it is, boys. Yeah, because you can see the boost is still up, but no more airflow, so horsepower is like dropping down, even though boost is actually staying up. There's, yeah. There's nothing to be you had. You see here. that? Boost is staying up, but horsepower is dropping. Torque's crazy, though. I didn't think that would happen. Yeah, especially how long it kept the torque for. I think that's a lot of the built engine stuff, like the cams and other stuff, keeping the torque out the back further because normally you would see torque start to fall off at like 45 and then come down with a sharper edge like this but yours actually fucking streamlined all the way out and it was actually staying out pretty good all the way up to 5000 rpm before it started to fall <laughs> Shifting around six, I thought you said you had it at six earlier. Yeah, the tax off versus the AM a little bit. That's what we are battling on the dyno. Okay. So I can hit seven on this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. that ignition yeah I want all three of those connectors replaced with new ones and then HCAS DLI definitely won't change the tune any it'll just make it so it's not cutting out on the ignition <laughs> dude that's so fucking sick I hope that's coming across the camera I don't even know if I'm fucking recording I am I hope you guys can hear that and just whistle it's like talking to me so cha 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 never heard another car do that. That's why I'm like, don't want to change my blow off valve. Fuck 
fucking awesome, dude. I'm not changing the blow off valve. I'll just fucking run with it like this. I don't care. HKS sounds great. It's loud. It's noisy. It's obnoxious, it but it doesn't talk. <laughs> this thing talks to you. You can have a whole conversation with your blow off valve. If you're mad at your girlfriend, go talk to your blow off valve. It's awesome, isn't it? Have you had another car do that? No, it's hilarious. So. Yeah. I shouldn't even be telling these motherfuckers it's an evil one. <laughs> well, all right, boys. Back at the shop. It's actually the next day because I didn't get home till like 10 o'clock last night. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. This whole build is on my channel. Step by step pretty much on anything. And I will be putting out a video on how I got the front mount to line up all nice and perfect. That wire that I was talking about and those connect those connectors that Jared was telling me to, that he wants fixed. Plugs into this. The igniter or whatever you want to call it. The ignition control module. This wire right here on the car. The tab broke off so it doesn't lock into place anymore right there. It broke off while we were street tuning a while ago and on the side of the road I just put super glue on the corners to hold it in place and then I completely forgot about it. So that's why we weren't getting true torque. We gotta fix that and I'm gonna be running into spark issues anyways even if I get bigger turbos. So I need to either do a coil on plug or I need the HKS DLI. So I gotta go back and forth about that. I don't know man, the car runs great right now. Leave it down in the comments. You guys wanna see me finish putting the interior back together? Or just stay working on this power plant. I don't know, I like it the way it is, but at the same time, I really wanna be above 500 now. I'm impressed with the cooling mods. With the intake, temp, staying cold from the uh, front mount intercooler. It definitely stays cooler. This not getting hot and being able to touch it is great. The spacers work, the phenolic or whatever it's called. I recommend everyone go get a set. I would have got a set from the very beginning if I knew what they did. For the longest time, I thought that was just a spacer like what you do on an NA car. You just space the throttle body out with like a spacer plate just to get some more air. But yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of this one. I will uh, see you guys in the next one for sure. Leave down in the comments how you guys think I should go about doing this. I'm pretty much ready whenever you guys are. For those of you that actually made it down to the end, I mean, they're worth like 800 bucks. And I'm not like some big YouTuber where like my content paid for these. I mean, I'm happy if I make 50 bucks a month. I'm willing to give them away to one of you guys if it helps you guys out. But leave it down in the comments how I should go about doing it. Alright boys, that's it. See ya.